Tonight, from Chicago, Soundstage. John Prine, one of the most original and likable personalities in American music, comes back home. Maywood. This is Maywood, huh? This is it. Maywood, Illinois. You were out of born and raised. That bank over there, my grandfather helped build that bank. He one of those uh, uh, carpenters. I guess everybody's hometown looks a little bit different to them, you know. Yeah. I don't know how this looks to you. <laughs> How's it look, John? It's green. Does it? I was, uh, me and uh, Johnny Burns here, I took him out to see my hometown. Looks special to me. I don't know what it looked like to him. I'm from Maywood. And, uh, yeah. and uh, I, was take, I took him out there and we was running around over to the house we grew up in over on First Avenue. And, uh, hadn't a whole lot of it changed. They painted a different color and everything looked about a third the size it used to. I guess that's because I got taller. You know? <laughs> well, we were just running around town in uh, my car. I got this uh, 1951 Ford Custom Club Coupe. February morning, my car won't start today. Well, I turned the key at 803 and the battery passed away inside of my automobile. I want my automobile. I want my automobile. I want to drive it all around this world. Right, getting married in the springtime. My widow's getting married in the fall. I got married in high school. Oh, I wouldn't have got married at all if you drive my automobile. If you drive my automobile. If you drive my automobile. I wanna drive it all around this world. Everybody said to the new groom, the groom, what you gonna be? I said, I'm gonna be a symphony just as soon as I find a key to my automobile. I want my automobile. I want my automobile. I wanna drive it all around this world. Take a ride. The hiccups, oh my breath, feel my head gets light and I drive my automobile, you drive my automobile, drive my automobile, I wanna drive it all around this world. My car won't start today. Well, I turn the key at 803 and the battery passed the wheel. Out of my automobile, I want my automobile, I want my automobile, I want to drive it all around this world. Let's go. Sounds like hitting on six, Leo. People of Memphis Drive. Thank you, it's all of you.
She was a liver-headed dancer on the road to alcohol. And I was just a soldier on my way to Montreal. Well, she pressed her chest against me about the time the jukebox broke. Yeah, she gave me a peck on the back of her neck. And these are the words she spoke. Blow up your chest. Go away your face. Go to the country. Build you a house. Plant a little garden. Eat a lot of pizza. Champagne. Table and I acted real naive. Bird knew that top of lady had something up her sleeve. Well, she danced around the fire and she did the hoochie coo. Yeah, she sang her song all night long, telling me what to do. Blow up your teeth, throw away your pipe, go to the country, build you a home, plant a little garden. Eat a lot of pizza, champ and cheese, oh no, oh no. And when just as I was leaving, well, she looked me in the face. I said, you must know the answer. She said, I know what'll go to the track. And to this very day, we've been living our way. Here is the reason why we blew up our teeth. Blew well paid. Went to the country. Built us a home. Had a lot of children. A fit of our own people. Oh, man. Thinking lately about the people I meet, the car wash on the corner and the hole in the street, the way my ankles hurt with shoes on my feet, and I'm wondering if I'm gonna see tomorrow. Father, forgive us for what we must do. You forgive us, we'll forgive you. We'll forgive each other till we both turn blue. Then we'll whistle and go fishing in the air. never dug a trench, used to bust my knuckles on a monkey ranch. I go to town and drink, give the girls a pinch, but I don't think they ever even notice me. Well, Father, forgive us for what we must do. You forgive us, we'll forgive you. We'll forgive each other till we both turn blue. Then we'll whistle and go fishing in the hill. A fish and a whistle, a whistle and a fish. Eat everything that they put on your dish. When we get through, we'll make a big wish that we never have to do this again, again, again. Oh, my very first job, I said thank you and please. It made me scrub a parking lot down on my knees. Then I got fired for being scared of bees. They only give me 50 cents an hour. Well, Father, forgive us for what we must do. You forgive us. We'll forgive you, we'll forgive each other till we both turn blue. Then we'll whistle and go fishing in the river. But 
fish and a whistle. Oh, it's a lamp fish. Eat everything that they put on your dish. When we get big, we'll make a big wish that we never have to do this again. 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 Oh, Father, forgive us for what we must do. You forgive us, we'll forgive you. We'll forget each other till we both turn blue. Then we'll whistle and go fishing in the heaven. We'll whistle and go fishing in the heaven. We'll whistle and go fishing in the heaven. about 10 years old now, something like that. When I first wrote it, it was about this 47-year-old uh, 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 housewife from uh, Montgomery, Alabama. It's still about her. <laughs> Except she's uh, about 57 now. This old house would have burnt down a long time ago. Make me an angel that flies from a gummy. Make me a post of an old rodeo. Just give me one thing that I can hold. Just a hard way to go When I was a young girl Well, I had me a cowboy He weren't much to look at Just a free ramming man But that was a long time and no matter how I try, the years just flow by like a broken down man. Make me a an that flies from the gummy. Make me a poster of an old rodeo. Just give me what I that I can hold on to To believe in this living Is just a hard way to go There's flies in the kitchen I can hum the buzzing And I ain't done nothing since I woke up today But how the hell could a person Go to work in the morning And come home in the evening And have nothing to say Make me an angel That flies from the gun Of an old rodeo, just give me one thing that I can hold on to. To believe in this living is just a 
what way to go. Corner up here. Which one? Coming up here? Yeah, you know that song, uh, The Accident? All right. This is it. You're oh, right yeah? Here. You have arrived. This is, uh, you know, like, have it go. I can never remember words to my songs unless I start them out from the beginning. <laughs> it's like, uh, this is third and this is green. And last night, was it? Last night I saw an accident on the corner of third and green. Two cars collided and I got excited just being part of that scene. It was Mrs. Tom Walker and her beautiful daughter, Pamela. Her name wasn't Pamela, her name was Connie. She was <laughs> there over there, but Pamela sounds better when you're riding outside. It was Mrs. Tom Walker and her beautiful daughter, Pamela, was driving the car. They got hit by a man in a light blue sedan who had obviously been to a bar. <laughs> <laughs> you know the chorus, don't you? You don't know how lucky you are. Yeah, they could have <laughs> run into that tree or that one or any of these. <laughs> <laughs> Got struck by a bolt of lightning and raped by a minority. This lady lives on third and green and she don't even know it. <laughs> this is more famous than the Grand Canyon. <laughs> Last night I saw an accident on the corner of third and green. Two cars collided and I got excited just being part of that scene. It was Mrs. Time Walker and her beautiful daughter, Pamela was driving the car they got a hit by a man in a light blue sedan who'd obviously been to a bar and they don't know how lucky they are they could have ran into that tree got struck by a boat Dilemma. We all are at the same time. I yielded to the man to the right of me, and he yielded it right back to me. Well, the yield went around and around and around till Pamela was finally trapped. But just Mrs. Walker got a bump on the knee. The man hit himself in the face and said, why does this happen to me? Then the neighbors came out and they gathered about, saying, hey, who hit who anyway? And the police arrived a quarter to five and pronounced all the victims okay.
Don't Spain. A rock in the milk of is all the same. A rock in the apple, a roll of a ship. I seen them natives doing an olive skip. A part of the week, the door of the swamp, and I seen them cats doing the you bang, you stomp. You bang, you stomp with a rock and roll. A beats anything that you ever been told. Then a you bang, you stomp, a you bang, you style, when a beats it drives a cool cat wild. Said a heat big jam session's about to begin. Hand me a time top, I picked up a beat. Mad crazy things that shivers to my feet. Well, a rock and a roll, skip with a smile. Done the you bang you stomp, a you bang you stop. A you bang you stomp with a rock and roll. A beat's anything that you ever been told. Said a you bang you stomp, a you bang you style. When a beat it drives a cool cat by. Had a good rock of time with the chief star of bay. I was making a tag, getting in the door, and the captain said, son, we got to go. Said, well, that's all right. You go on the hill, I'm on the you bang, you stop, till I go go over to you. You bang, you stop, with a rock and roll. Beats anything that you ever been told. Then if you bang, you stop, or you bang, you style, when a beats it, drive the cool cat round. When a beats it, drive the cool cat round. When a beats it, drive the cool cat round. When a beats it, drive Go! Paper route. <laughs> uh, but this friend of mine, uh, uh, Mike, <laughs> Mike had a paper route, and uh, me and him, like, we, we hung around together so much, we, uh, you know, I didn't want to, like, I don't know what to do while he went out and delivered his papers, so I'd go along and help him. And then uh, after a while, it uh, like we'd go to get, to get a soda and a comic book or something and Mike would have all this money. So uh, he figured that he'd start giving me some of the money for helping him on the paper out there where we could both buy our own sodas because he wasn't about to buy me one. You know? <laughs> 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 Don't jump the gun. <laughs> well, one of the places on this news, newspaper route was a, a Baptist old people's home and uh, we used to go in there and uh, I mean, there was a lot of times the uh, elderly women would be sitting out in groups of 10 and 12 around in a little lounge. And some of them would, uh, they're all glad to see us all the time. But some of them would like talk to the other women like, as if we were uh, grandchildren of theirs, you know, because like uh, not all of them would get visitors all the time. It was kind of strange. They also had a picture of Christ in the place that when you walked by it, it was a real dark hallway. When you walked by this picture of Christ, his eyes would go. <laughs> <laughs> There's a love in there. It's 
since the kids had grown a laugh of their own and left us alone John and Linda live in Omaha and Joey somewhere on the road we lost Davy in the Korean War I still don't know what for it don't matter anymore You know that old trees just grow stronger And old rivers grow wilder every day Oh, people just grow lonesome oh, Waiting for someone to say Hello in there. Me and Loretta, we don't talk much more. She sits and stares through the back door screen. And all the news just repeats itself. It's like some forgotten dream that we both sing. Someday I'll go on. Call Rudy. We work together at the factory. But what could I say if he asked what's new? Nothing was with you. Nothing much to do. You know that old trees just grow stronger And old rivers grow wilder every day Old people just grow lonesome Waiting for someone to say Hello in that hill So if you're walking down a street some town Then spot some hollow ancient ass Well please don't just pass and by and stare As if you didn't care Say hello in that hill Thank you. I mean, I got so, I got so, I, I used to walk up and down the street so many times, there's nothing else to do. You know, if I was at that end of the street, I always think some, something was going on down there because uh, there wasn't nothing going on up at this end, you know. <laughs> Howdy, friends, and good evening, neighbors. This is Randy Blake on the supper time frolic from WJJD. For the next two hours, you're gonna hear your favorite country and western singers. And I have some wonderful news for all you listeners. And I Remember hope that you show? stay with Randy us Randy Blake, the two hours. Frolic. My dad used to put the radio out here and sit out here with a quart of beer. This is a house I grew up in, located on <laughs> Maywood's busiest street, really? right here in Maywood, yeah. Illinois. God, I spent, must have spent 20 years here. I guess my first 20 years of my life. We sit out here and listen to that radio, though. Uh, I guess that's how I got started with the, with the, I guess with the music I make. You know, I mean, I don't know what kind of music I played if I never listened to the radio. And we played uh, country music most of the time. 
They played a lot of rock and roll in on JJD, too. Rockabilly. Uh, rockabilly stuff. Sure. Old uh, Elvis and Johnny, Lee. Johnny Cash. <laughs> I always figured my music come from somewhere between what come across the radio and somewhere between here and Kentucky. It couldn't have come from Kentucky because I wasn't from there. You know? <laughs> but uh, we used to go down there as often as we could until uh, the town got tore down by uh, Mr. Peabody. You remember that song? <laughs> you only have to sing it 19 <laughs> times a week, don't you? It's one of them three chord songs, right? Yeah. Why don't we sing that song? By the way, this is John Burns. John plays guitar with me and he's my number one partner in crime. We're bound to become stars someday or else we're going to go to jail. You right, John? <laughs> or back to Maywood. But, well, that would be the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Just like the record. Yeah. <laughs> Can't be bad. Um, me and my band here, we spent the first six months of this year uh, down in Memphis, Tennessee. Just re recording uh, this album we just put out called Pink Cadillac. When I, we was down there, we was having people uh, stop in every once in a while just to kind of jostle us and make us play something different. And one night, uh, this fella stopped in and played with us, and he uh, had a whole bunch of hits back in the late 50s on Sun Records. And uh, he's going to come out here, me and him sang a duet on the record, uh, on Pink Cadillac, and he's uh, knocking them dead in Europe lately. <laughs> Would you please uh, make welcome Billy Lee Riley.
We're gonna sing a song about a girl with, uh, that hasn't got uh, any name at all. I got a girl and got no home. She ain't that bad, just give me a bone. She don't cast a shadow cause she's so thin. She never knows where she's going, but she knows where she's going. She never knows where she's going, but she knows where she's going. Sing one, uh, one for everybody here. Okay. First, I'd like to say that it's a great pleasure working with such great talent as Mr. Prime. <laughs> and be surrounded with such great talent as his band. Fantastic. <laughs> for all of you that are 35 and over, you might remember this next song that I'm going to do. In 1957, when I was with Sun Records, we did a song called Red Hot. My girl is red hot Ooh, Ain't doodle is Yeah!
I told you about that Gibson Hummingbird I had, second guitar I ever had, right. first really good one. Uh -huh. it cost me like, geez, it cost 250 bucks. They took money off of it because it was a, a thing. Uh, uh, it's sitting in the window of the store, and the sun had kind of ruined the finish on it. Right. So I didn't have 250 bucks, and I got this job at this church over here, and they pay me 50 bucks a month, I think. I have to go in on Saturdays and uh, dust the pews. You got to dust the pews, <laughs> especially in the summertime. A lot of people, for some reason, didn't go to church in the summer. They had other things to do, so the pews get real dusty. Yeah. Somebody's got to dust them, so it was me. You know? <laughs> and uh, in the wintertime, I have to go over there and shovel the snow up. Uh huh. And uh, I was going over there one time. I wrote that song "Bruised Orange" about uh, something happened to me. I was I was going over there. Uh, I guess it had snowed real late on a Saturday night, uh -huh. and they called me up real early Sunday morning, like five in the morning, to get over here, and they wanted me to uh, shovel uh, snow up because if, for the early service, if if the uh, people in the congregation came over and one of them slipped and busted their tail, then they'd sue the church for all the money they'd been given in all these years. <laughs> and, you know, it's a vicious circle, doesn't matter where you're at. And uh, I was on my way over here and I got close to here and man, I heard a bunch of sirens over uh, over on the northwestern tracks over there and the only people who was out that time of morning was newsboys and, uh, uh, you know, guys just doing a job like me or, or else uh, altar boys, a lot of churches around here. And some kid had been walking along, I guess it was his head just in a cloud and kind of daydreaming. And the train hit him. Hmm. Really messed him up bad. I couldn't even recognize him for a while. But that's like, you know how that song goes, like, my heart's in the ice house. Come hill or come valley. Like a long ago Sunday when I walked through this alley over here. Uh -huh. On a cold winter's morning to that church house just to shovel. Like snow off that sidewalk. I heard mm -hmm. sirens on that train track over, over there. there. Yeah. How naked get neuter? An altar boy has been hit by a local commuter just from walking with his back turned to the train that was coming so slow. My heart's in the ice house, come a hill or come valley. Like a long ago Sunday, when I walked through the alley on a cool winter's morning to a church house just to shovel some snow. I heard sirens on the train track, how they could get neutered. And all the boys been at my local commuter just from walking with his back turned to the train. That was coming so slow. You can gaze out the window, get a mad and get a medley, throw your hands in the air, say what does it matter? But it don't do no good to get angry. Say up okay, here, I know. If our hearts stain in anger, grows weak and grows bitter, you'll become your own. As you watch yourself sit there wrapped up in a trap Of your very own chain of sorrow I've been brought down to zero, pulled out and put back there. I sat on a park bench, I kissed a girl with the black hair, and my head shouted down in my heart, you better look out below. It ain't such a long drop, don't stammer, don't stutter. From the diamonds and the sidewalk to the dirty and the gutter, and you'll carry those bruises to remind you wherever you go. Maybe you can gaze out the window, get a bat and get a matter, throw your hands in the air. Say, what does it matter? But it don't do no good to get angry. Say, help me, I know. You become your own prisoner, 
become your own prisoner Is you write yourself sit there wrapped up in a trap Your very own chain of sorrow Birds in the ice house, call me he'll all calm down Like a long ago Sunday, when I walked through the alley On a cool winter's morning, to a church house Just to shovel some snow I heard sirens on the train tracks, how they could get new And all the boys been hit by a local commuter Just from walking with his back turned to the train that was coming so slow. You could gaze out the window, you can imagine it better. Throw your hands in the air, saying what does it matter? But it don't do no good to get angry. Tell me I know.
growing pains when you got somewhere around the age of 30. Well, that's somewhere. I never thought the age mattered much. I just thought that <coughs> age was just something that, you know, was just was there every year, like Christmas, you know. <laughs> you know, I just never thought it mattered a whole lot, but I guess it started, it mattered a whole lot to me. It seemed like I started going back over everything I'd ever done and wondered if I wanted to do that for the next 30 or not, you know. Mm. I finally decided what the heck, I might as well. <laughs> so far, so good. Yeah. I think the song kind of certainly doesn't sum up anything, you know, but I think that's where this got started. I would have finished this thing the same day I started it, but the radiator hose on my car broke. <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know, little things like that can stop great novels and <laughs> insignificant songs. Every time. Let's play How Lucky Can One Man Get. Got it. I 
get the hiccups. Oh, my breath till my head gets light in the drive mine. How the bull feel you drive mine. How the bull feel you drive mine. How the bull feel you want to drive it all around this world. Funding for Soundstage has been provided by this station and by other public television stations.